Hello comrades, and uh, welcome back to the let's play of Crusader Kings 2 as the Sultan or King of Olga Bulgaria, or Khan, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, when we left off we conquered some lands from the Russians and the Cumans, and we will continue down this road, but uh, first let's give a little overview about what's going on in Europe. So. In the east, we are the one dominant power. You can see our realm here. Uh, around us, n no big enemies that can crush us, except maybe the Byzantines. But I think they are a little bit occupied. So, sorry about that. Uh, the Byzantines uh, conquered some lands from the Seljuks, uh, which is bad for us or the Muslim in particular. Um, the Fatimids lost uh, Jerusalem to the Pope and are fighting I guess some tyranny wars. In Northern Africa the Holy Roman Empire took uh, modern day Tunisia uh, while there is uh, yeah, the Normans or King of Sicily some some uh, Muslims still there uh, yeah in Spain Castile fought back uh, with the help of France and the Holy Orders and took over uh, some um, Islamic states right here England uh, I think it's still the of Godwin family so it's Saxon England uh Ireland is not uh, united Scotland uh in the north we have Norway the big chunk of Norway with the poor countries in Finland counties Sweden I think it's the catholic guy in Sweden yes yeah Poland has a little bit of chunk uh here but I'm not worried. Hungary is in civil war. It's uh, Hungary, Croatia. No Croatia, Hungary. No Austria this time. Yeah, that's it. So, basically, we're the only Islamic superpower that hasn't lost any any ground to the heathens, and I don't want to in the future. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Caliph Atrak the first is still our, ca is our ruler. He is 33, which is pretty old. Uh, his current heir is his son, Prince Kosa. He's 13. Mediocre starts, but uh, I like his, uh, his traits. And I have a second son, Prince Barkman. Not related to some crazy American uh, politician with the same name. I hope. Maybe he gets a trait uh, lunatic. That would fit pretty well. And the third son is Attack, who's five, not yet uh, in, in uh, educated, is the word. Okay. Good. That's that. I can creator usurp 10 titles, but I won't. I am at my domain limit, and I want to take on the Russians. They are in a civil war, and I checked the war score, it's 1%. So, by that logic, I can pick off the smaller smallish states per holy war and gobble them up before the civil war is resolved. I hope. Yes, that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, the first or the, the priority is to take on the Russians or the small Russian states. And if we have done this, we will take on the Catholics for the first time. And yeah, we're in the year uh, 1138. So we have 60 years left to conquer as much as we can. And then we will see if we can 
Hold up. Yeah. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna take... Oh, that's piss poor. Oh, well, you have to start somewhere, right? What is this? this is oh, I can take Novgorod. Well, I could, I could take both. How many troops can I raise? More than enough. 1,400 and... Around. Yeah, I can I can take them both. Let's be a little bit greedy. Yes. And yes. I wonder should I take all my levies or only my domain? Let's do my domain first and let's see how many troops they can raise. My son is six, so he needs an education. I don't think I can educate him myself. No. So I'm gonna go for. This guy. I hope he, uh, his educator is content, so I hope I can. get him the content trade, which would help me in the, uh, should uh, my ruler survive to the day that all my, all my sons are, uh, are of age, so uh, he won't be the one to lead the rebellion. And uh, yeah, I'm really hoping I will survive until then. take him first because he's not leading troops because uh, I can then show you for the first time in this let's play I guess a succession crisis she wants to be my first wife no. <laughs> no 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 absolutely not so Anyone called someone in? No, I don't see any big armies. So maybe I will wait until I have a little bit more money. No. And then I will... I will uh, raise some mercenaries, so I don't have to take my... Uh, my vassal's troops, so they won't get pissed at me, because it's an offensive war. Uh, yay! Rule number one of Crusader Kings. When in war, peasant revolts. Yeah. Five sultans against one, one uh, d duke or duchess. I got a daughter. This is my first son, and he gains just. Just is a very good attribute. Gives you two stewardship and one learning. Very, very good. Am I? No, I'm from. I'm a diplomatic character. Yeah. Is he taking my. What the hell? Uh, so the I AI is improved, and by that I mean it uh, concentrates more on uh, fighting humans. So, although he's at war with the Russians, he will fight me. All the time. So, let's go here. Russian is fighting 
Commissioning of Corrodian Invasion of Ross. So, ah, yes, I, I checked this last time. If he wins this war, he becomes the King of Ross. Which means he will be, he will part from my domain and form his own. Which I want to prevent somehow, so I will get him back in line, because it's my title. There's only one Khan in the East, and it's not him. Okay, so I'm going Meria died, so I need to. Yes, yes, yes. Sort by age, and I want a content guy. Here he is. Heir to a mosque. That's fine with me. Here. Go. Yeah. that that's a strong one okay. so yeah uh my allies are coming, the Seljuks. So I think uh, I will win this war handily. Garrison I have here, 108. Oh, that's fine. So, more Seljuks. More Seljuks. So the Seljuks are really coming. That's uh, a new one. Oh. And he's back in the war. <laughs> I think uh, his, his father died. No. Hmm. Ah, his brother? Yes, his brother died. He, his brother was the sultan. leading troops. What is this? The Q 
humans are at war again. Or are they still at war here? Civil war. Uh, against October. Yeah. Don't care about that. So basically, I don't care about what happens in the east. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they still have some. Bit of land right here. I can uh, call in more mercenaries. I he thinks yes. Let's do it. Yeah, as I thought, the Russians are no opposition to my to my forces. So I can imprison someone. Who is she? Is she my first wife? No. It really is uh, odd to me that uh, the uh, your wives are going on killing sprees and like killing half your court for whatever reason. It, it's a, the one thing I have to. Uh, I like this game very much, but the one thing that is not clear to me is why some character wants to kill another character. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. They're just killing them for the sake of killing them. should uh, somehow uh, give the player more uh oh and my son came of age and he's a gray eminence so he has basically the same stats as his father good job so i need to give him land I have two duchies, so I need to create one. Smolensk. Is this? Okay, I want him to be my heir, so first I have to give him a county. I will give him Ryubek and everything beneath it. So he has this for him, these two, and then I will create, oh usurp, what can I, ah I can't usurp because uh, Alania, I could just usurp Alania or Azov, no. let's create Zarkel, and what is this, Chernigov, oh is he the Emir of Chernigov, I have to revoke that, and create Zarka. So, um, I can now address this. Um, once all my children or my male heirs are of age, I will have to give them titles. And if I'm a Khan, Sultan, or King, uh, I have to give them uh, dukedoms, duke titles. So, what I'm doing is I'm giving my Heir, though this one I, I want to uh, be my heir. Most of my titles and most of my uh, and, and and many vessels. So once I die, and he inherits, he has more power than the others, who will have like a I will give them a two two county uh, two county duchy. So, so he has more direct vessels who will hopefully like him and give him more troops so he can beat his brothers if he has to. That's the plan. So I'm giving him 
the Duchy of Zarke with all the counties in it. And once uh, Duke Apoc gives me back his... Uh, that's the one thing uh, a Muslim can do. He can revoke uh, duchy titles uh, from his vessels as he pleases. Uh, then I will give that to my son too. Right, so he can now have the Duchy of Chernigov as well. Here we go. Uh, let's see my... Yes, decadence 0%. If I don't give him a duchy, only a county, I will still get a uh, decadence gain, which is not bad because I'm at 0%, uh, but uh, I want to keep it as low as possible, just for... Uh, because because uh, it gives me bony, like uh, more income and who is he? What the fuck? Yeah, I think it's just the game's uh, way of cutting down my court because if I can, I have 35 people in my court. Uh, I think 30 is the is the. Uh, number when those events kind of hit, where some random courtiers get stabbed by the Hasha Shin. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's... See my vessel? No. Zero. So, enforce the demands. Oh. So, I will have to give away, I think, one. <laughs> they all suck. <laughs> That's good. So he gets shot or hoot. I have no idea. I'm no Russian. Air to a mosque. That's fine with me. Uh, and there are no lower tiles, so I, ha I have no idea why I click it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't know why, but I'm a little bit sick still. Well, sick. Uh, it's a little bit harsh. I'm just a little bit... Uh, my nose is a little bit... He is... nothing, so he can have Beno Zero. Do I have to? No, I don't. I already gave up. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's not like it's worth something, this county. It's like... I will keep, uh, I think, Novgorod or P Psykov. Yeah, I will keep Novgorod. Maybe give it to one of my sons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I... So, basically I'm in cruising mode right now. Uh, there's no one that can stop me in the vicinity, maybe uh, except uh, for the Byzantines, but I don't think they bother too much. Uh, I would love to have like uh, the opportunity to uh, the diplomacy in this game is very straightforward. So you can declare war, you can forge allies through mar marriage, and that's basically it. Um, 
I wish you could. Uh, it would be a more, a bit, little bit more in depth, like you could uh, uh, arrange uh, hidden alliances or packs for specific things. And I think uh, some of this is uh, is um, uh, handled through the intrigue with the uh, plots and ambitions you have. But, uh, yeah, I wish they would uh, um, further improve the system, you know? So, basically what you do is you forge some alliances, if you care. Uh, I'm at the stage where I don't care. So I'm, I think I'm allied with, allied with uh, all the major powers of the Muslim world, like the Seljuks. Well, they're not a major power anymore, but with the Seljuks, the Fatimids and the Amoravids, but uh, yeah, so once you hit a certain stage, you just steamroll. I could like, I if, if there wasn't this event in 60 years, I would just steamroll my way through the Russians and the Polish, then I would steamroll myself uh, through the, through the uh, north, and then I would be powerful enough to take on the Holy Romans. So, after that, there's no, no more challenge. Ah, I had to drink a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, we're gonna see what happens next. Uh, yeah. Oh, the King of Mali is here. <laughs> King of Mali. Do you want to peace out? No, he doesn't. Oh, I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Uh, yeah, let's build another train. Why not? I'm so rich, it's not even funny anymore. Yeah. I I have two mercenary Do I have two mercenaries? Yes, I have two mercenary groups. And I'm still rich as f you know what. a little bit more but uh, yeah I'm at 100% I can forcefully piece him out and there we go I took Novgorod and I'm <laughs> a little bit over the limit but yeah I will handle that real quick So I have to give away four. One, two, three, four. Let's do this. There we go. No, he's so he's an heir to a county, so I won't give him one because if I do, he gains two, and I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Yes, I quoted a song. But it's a good one. Uh, he's a bastard. I don't think his father would like it if I would. Who is he? Okay. Uh, Talk of pets. I will keep Novgorod just for the, you know, why not? 
I just gave him. <laughs> yeah, now it's a little bit tedious to just look for content guys, but uh, it 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 uh, spares you some trouble. It spares you some serious trouble. Psikov. Psikov, I think. I don't know. If you're Russian and you know how it, it, those are pronounced, you can uh, you can tell me. I do my best. I'm only half Polish, and it's a little bit different. Bezetskiver. Here we go. Twelve of twelve. No decadence gain still. So we took some more land. So, I think that's nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Why? Why stop now? Hmm? We're on a roll. So I will take Perias level and Vitebsk. Is that one duchy? No. Vitebsk and Polotsk. He's Catholic. Is he at war or something? No, he, he's oh, he's independent. One count. I, I don't get it. Why? <laughs> Why he? And he? Yeah. Does he have any other snow? Yeah, you're so dead, dude. Uh. Yeah. I will conquest him because I don't want uh, like Poland or Croatia or Hungary to intervene. So if I declare holy war, they could. Yeah, let's do it this way. This way, and this way. Let's get some mercenaries rolling. Get up my armies. And yeah, don't want to lose prestige. I still don't have a nickname. If you ask me, I should have uh, the Great or the Conqueror. Allah be praised. What the heck? <laughs> so, basically this guy <laughs> could afford a holy order. Real. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't give a shit. Okay, let's go here, and then crush him. And the rest can disband again. some and make it quick. Yeah, let's do it like this. <laughs> so, this is why I hate fighting like uh, the Catholics, because the Holy Orders are overpowered. They really are. Uh, like some you see one count one count yes and he raises like 8000 troops and he doesn't have to pay them <laughs> he pays like a little bit of piety and then he's fine that's absurd because i can't uh what 
happened. Oh. Bugger. 